Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the Binding of Isaac podcast that covers every item, trinket, boss, floor, pickup in the game series, The Binding of Isaac. My name is Gary Butterfield, and with me as always is the head chef of Satan's Kitchen, Will Hughes. Hey there, everybody. Now what we're going to do is take our freak boxes and attach them to a payphone. Oh, so you're, yeah. you're gonna have to find a payphone. <laughs> do, do, In do fact, you remember... build a payphone. <laughs> you can build a lot of hemp. Uh, do, if do you've you got any like Doctor Who friends, they've probably like made their own. Do you remember the time when you realized that the Anarchist Cookbook was boring? <laughs> that yeah. was a real, real eye-opening experience for me as a teen. Yeah, like I never, like I was not a cool enough teen to ever have like like immediate personal access to it. But I did mm-hmm. Wikipedia it, and I was like boy this is just a, like a lot of ways to i don't know get free phone calls it's it's mostly based around getting free telephone calls <laughs> yeah and now you'd have to shoot me to make me make a phone call like i hate talking <laughs> on the phone so, especially if you were a teen it's just it's very you know i, I talked on the phone all the time as a teen okay i loved it but yeah me, me and derek used to watch a we like a movie be on hbo and then we'd call each other and just hang out on the phone while the movie was on and like not really talk. Just kind of be in the same room and watching the movie on the phone. It's a weird thing that we used to do. All right. Um, but this, uh, the, no, the I, I, let, give me a second to mull. Okay. Okay. I think that's beautiful, but I'm, I'm working what? through it. It's a, it was, it was, we were just very comforted by each other's presence. Yeah. That's the, the beautiful aspect of it. And sometimes and I, we would make jokes and stuff, but it yeah. wasn't, we weren't riff tracks in it. Really, you weren't gonna you don't go MST three K on that. Uh, I just felt like uh, Rift Tracks has fewer syllables. I it, felt like that. And it's true. I, I I checked my heart and it had fewer syllables. Um, but the Anarchist Cookbook, like the the .dot txt file that was spread around my friends and stuff, and it's mostly getting free phone calls. But and I feel like uh, I might have a story that I've never told on a podcast before. <gasps> what? And I know you're, you're wasting it on this. <laughs> Gary, you can work duck, this into WAP somehow. Sixth most listened to show. Um, <laughs> that seems high. I don't actually know where – it could be high. I don't actually know where we're at. Um, but the uh, – uh, so when my friends and all and I all had the anarchistcookbook.txt file, um, we made two bombs uh, at one point. Okay. One, all <laughs> one right. Of which, one of which was a, a bomb you make through like using like a kind of acid and aluminum foil in a – a uh, uh, two liter bottle. Oh, okay. And we took it out to a park and we you know, put in the foil and everything started like uh, fizzing and like it was going to blow up. Uh huh. And we, uh, we threw, I, I threw it and because I was like a dorky kid, I th- threw it underhand and did it real low and it scraped on the ground and then just started rolling down the hill. Like not, away from us all right at all so we all ran like hell sure uh away from it and it wasn't going to explode like a car bomb it was like you know uh still still pretty small as far as bombs go um but then it, it blew up and made a big loud noise and left like a little uh wet and charred patch on the uh on the ground all right uh so, so that was one bomb yeah the other bomb was if you take a, a tennis ball apparently and you cut a hole in it and then you fill it with match heads if you throw the tennis ball at something, it will explode like a fireball. And we did that once. Okay. Uh, and that was pretty cool. And it worked exactly as, as we thought it would. All right. So we, the new ARG is the first person to report Gary to the FBI. Uh, gets to be the new co-host of Everything to Guppy. Yeah. Well, it's, it's uh, you know, as a t- I hope the statute of limitations uh, would, would, would serve me well here, but it's possible it wouldn't. Gary, there's there might no not statute be a, of limitations on terrorism. That's uh, this was before terrorism, man. Oh God, what this a was fun like 1993. Time. Yeah, this was just fun. It was a cool, fun thing that kids would do. Whereas you know? I mostly know the Anarchist Cookbook as a minor plot element in an Aquid strip. Oh, do tell. Yeah. Oh, Lyle and Flo- <laughs> yeah. I'll- oh, is it time for our famous segment, narrating Aquid? <laughs> oh, Philippe, oh, Philippe, you bring us very special joy. Dress like a bumblebee with your special kind of glee. <laughs> yep. All right, let me just Google. <laughs> just, just find it to relay it. Oh my! Uh, there we go. Sorry, my uh, browser was being a little slow. Aquid. That's okay. It's all part of narrating. Aquid. Anarchists cookbook. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, if memory recalls, uh, Lyle is trying to read... Uh, Philippe asks Lyle to read him a bedtime story, and all of Lyle's books are things like car manuals and, uh, like, shitty cookbooks. Mm-hmm. So he pulls down the anarchist cookbook and reads it to Philippe, and then Philippe really gets into it. Oh. Oh, what a special boy. He's a very special boy. Mm-hmm. But I am going to actually read the text of the strip. Oh, okay. Since <laughs> please, that is please do the entire long-running said. series. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Just don't bring up the great outdoor fight because we'll be here all night. Yeah. The, uh, the item we're talking about this week is the hourglass. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> You know what, Gary? I'm calling my own bluff on this one. It's a lot of words. And if you were willing to like do the other voice with me, obviously, I think. In fact, Gary? Yeah. I'm going to drop a link into our old... Uh... Yeah, we, we're just going to go for this at this point. I feel like we started out doing this as a kind of joke about how long we're not talking about the item, and we can just go with it. I don't know if that's... Just, you know, one of the things that you, reasons you and I are friends, I think, is we both have a, a really unhealthy, like, not particularly good contrarian streak <laughs> yep. in us. And I think <laughs> this is at least part part of that going on, you know? All right, so here I have sent you a link to an Aikwood streak. Yep. No, I've got it open already. I'm okay. already practicing my lines. Would you like to play Philippe or Lyle? I'd like to play Lyle, I think. All right. Okay. Now I have to... Boy. That was why I didn't want to do it, because I don't know how Philippe talks. Yeah. Lyle, will you read me a bedtime story? Huh? How come? I just saw Harry Potter, and I'm too scared to go to sleep. All right. Just grab something off my shelf over there. These don't sound like bedtime stories. Don't you know any? Narration. Uh... The books are called Artis O'Malley, The Man Who Hit Men. Deconstructing Hawkwood Mythology, Chilton's Repair Guide, 1971-73, AMC Hornet, and Class 3 Head Trauma, Do's and Don'ts. That uh, that Chilton's font is really well observed. It's really okay. Uh, crap. Uh, do you uh, want to know how to make a bomb out of a floppy disk? Oh, wow. Really? Or how about the five secrets of successful shoplifting? Oh, boy. Wow. You really seem into this stuff. Hold on a second. I'm going to get something out of the garage. Soon. <laughs> Here it is, Philippe, the anarchist cookbook. As my mentor, Freak Pisces, gave it to me, so I now give it to you. This has been Aquid Corner. Mm-hmm. Yep, I'm narrating Aquid. Here comes a special, here comes a very special boy. Jesus, um, that might be the most self-indulgent thing we've ever done. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> um, also bad. The Anarchist Cookbook. Yeah, it's not great. You know what the segway, problem with this thing segway. is? Segway. Yeah. Doesn't Wait. drop enough bombs. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, that's actually true. We're, I think what it is, so this is a, a book. we we got to get down to basics. Yeah, very <laughs> so, quickly, though, because this episode yeah. is already 10 minutes long. Yeah, let, let's go. Um, this is a book. It, is, it has a little anarchy symbol on it. Uh, so it counts towards Bookworm. And when you use it, uh, it summons bombs. Yep, six troll bombs. Yep. Uh, three room charge. All you know, that's fine. The the da- the problem here is that uh, you can definitely just get hit by the bombs. Yeah, which I consider a minor problem. Like you know that going in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's a major problem in terms of my uh, evaluation of whether like I re-roll this or take it. True. You know, uh, but it, it is you know it is to be expected. Yeah, you just have no control over where they spawn. So even if it's like, oh, there's a marked rock in this room. Let's uh. Let's see mm-hmm. if the anarchist cookbook will get it. It won't most of the time. Yeah, it's, it's probably not going to, especially when you said it doesn't drop enough bombs. Um, this thing has really weird logic uh, for big rooms. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like they never uh, rejiggered the anarchist cookbook when they introduced long and big rooms. Mm-hmm. So they just kind of appear in the middle of the room and are thus useless. Like you can't – to the degree that you can't – you can aim this at all, you definitely can't aim it in a large room. Mm-hmm. Uh, it so. does benefit from, like, all or most of your bomb synergies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My favorite is Safety Scissors, uh, which is the trinket that stops troll bombs from going off, which <laughs> just turns this into a six-bomb spawn. Yeah, six bombs every every three rooms. Which, which is pretty good. You're pretty dialed uh, at that point. Also, obviously, bomb immunity makes this really fantastic. It makes you know, it okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess that's true. Well, I mean, you, you can clear a room with it often. You know, so it ends up being like a, one of the, if, if not totally reliable, but a decent room clearer. Okay. And then when it, the fact that this does use any uh, bomb synergies, like as we mentioned, um, 
that that makes us you know even stronger. Like I've had a very fun run with bomb immunity, this and um, the uh, Bomberman bombs. Yeah, a crazy Bomber bomb bombs. run is one of the pleasures of Isaac. Yes, like, I feel like sometimes there are like seeds that are almost like aimed towards it. I know it's all random and it's just confirmation. Well, bias, but well, well. What, Gary? Um, I don't know if this is actually true, but it used to be true. In, at least in the Flash version of Isaac, when you got a uh, a bomb synergy, uh, you'd be more likely to get more. Oh, fascinating. And if you got a uh, pyro, you'd be more likely to get bomb synergies. I don't know if that's still true. That was definitely true of the Flash version. In any case, thank you for teaching me, Senpai Gary. You're welcome. That's a history lesson from old man Butterfield, the Isaac veteran <laughs> from back in the day. I can't wait to come up with a musical sting for that. I'm not going to come up with a yes. musical sting for that. Please don't. Um, that's how I'm going to try to get you to do it because of your low key contrarian nature that we discussed. Um, anywho, I don't think I have anything else to say about this. People who are frustrated about us uh, indulging ourselves repeatedly on mic uh, during this, there's not enough more to say about this. I feel. Yeah, it drops bombs. Uh, they're very hard to aim. It, it'll yeah. do. Probably decent damage to a boss if you're lucky. Mm-hmm. But there are much more reliable boss killers. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a, this was especially like stupid when Krampus's head was a three room charge for a while. Oh, and Jesus. that made this absolutely like, you know, redundant. Adding a bookworm makes this something that I'll always touch. Sure. But I'm, I never keep it. All right. So, uh, Gary, if people enjoy our, uh, live readings of Aquid cartoons, what mm-hmm. should they do? They, if they like that, they should really check out the comic Aquid. Oh man, Aquid's maybe the best comic ever, best web comic mm. ever. I yeah, maybe. Like I won't, I will definitely not say best comic ever. Like I like Aquid a lot. It is one of uh, my favorite things on the planet. I will say that. It's, yeah, it's extremely good. Um, so check out Aquid. Uh, in addition to good night, Aquid, <laughs> yeah, that's also fine. <laughs> they know what to do. They just had an episode yesterday. Fuck, they get it. You get it. You're smart. We trust you. Good night. All right. Good night.